Hey you guys, this is Little Pug Games and this is my first video. So basically what I'll be doing from now on in most of my videos will be implementing cool things in Unity and mostly in 2D. Uh, simple stuff down to more complicated stuff. And so for my first video, I have the Chicken Slayer series. So we'll be implementing a, a couple different things. Uh, laser beams, uh, recoil animations, and as well as particle effects for muzzle flash. So our scene currently looks like this. And we're going to make it look like this. So, as you can see, it has laser beam, it has a recoil animation, and then it also has muscle flash and camera shake as well. So, the first episode will be on how to implement the laser beam effect. So, let's get started. So, now we have this empty scene. And first things first, we want to create... Uh, a laser type object and we can do that with a line render so we'll add a game object into the machine gun and we'll just call it laser beam we'll also move it to a location where a laser beam would be so right here is good and that's where our laser beam will start we're going to add a line render as well and we will we'll change the z-axis so that it shows up and if we do this we can see here that our laser shows up so another thing we want to do is we want to change width to little smaller maybe like like so and the next step will be changing the material so you want a sprite default material this way we can color it to whatever color we want so let's do a green laser let's do a green laser that yeah that, that looks cool and we'll also change this to a fixed color so you want green to be the color throughout so 100% so there we go we have a laser but we want it to start at where the the game object is right here and so we can do that with the script and first things first is we want to grab our line render so We'll have a private line render and we'll just call it line render and the next step will be to to grab it so get component line render and then we will have an update method so another thing we'll need is probably uh, a float which basically tells us how long the laser beam will be. So we'll call this laser beam length. And then here in the update method, we'll say, we'll say vector two or vector three. We'll need the end position. And we'll say the end position is equal to transform dot position and then we'll add transform dot right and we'll multiply that times the laser beam length so what exactly is going on right here so we have the end position 
and we're starting off with the transform.position and that would be this point right here and so we're adding transform right which is this red axis right here and we're saying it we're saying multiply it by the length of the laser so if it's 15 it'll start here and it'll go across this axis 15 points across so that's what we want to do we'll I'll show it to you guys right now so now what we can do line render uh, oh, line render dot set points uh, positions set positions and it takes vectors so our starting vector will we'll need a an array and our starting vector will simply be transform dot position and then our end position will be just end position which we've calculated right here we'll close this off and then we'll go back to our scene right here we'll also empty this out so it doesn't look ugly so it's a clear scene and then the other thing we want to do is add the script here so scripts not done Whoop. laser beam laser pointer okay and we'll make this to 15 so now we'll start the scene and there we go we have a, a cool little laser beam effect so that concludes our first episode and to recap quickly we went over how to create a laser beam effect on the weapon and we did that by using the line render and setting the positions along the line render and the next episode we'll be going over how to add a recoil effect on the weapon and after that we'll be adding a particle system muzzle flash effect so i hope you guys found this useful and thank you for watching you guys have a great day bye